There he is. Joker. Get! Where'd you go? Did y'all see him? What's up guys? Welcome back for another video here at Triple R Farms. My name is Daniel and it is Tuesday, January the 30th. And uh, here's what we got on tap for today. I'm gonna be pulling both combines in, in the shop. James is gonna be changing all the hydraulic filters on both combines and also the air filters. It's something we do every year on all our equipment in January. And the last two things we have not changed is the combines. Wayne and Mark, they will be working on the better that uh, me and James were working on, changing all the bearings on the coulters and the gauge wheels. Anyway, we got that plow, is ready to go, is ready to hit the field. But while we had it in the shop, we decided it's time to give it a good paint job. So Mark and Wayne are gonna be scrubbing it first and then they'll be painting it later. Then at some point today, I think me and dad are gonna be back over there in the valley at our old catch pen, uh, taking down uh, all those trees and stuff and clearing out that lot uh, we're supposed to warm up today get to about 65 degrees we're about 32 degrees right now so we're gonna let it warm up a little bit and hopefully we'll get back over there on the track hoe and the bulldozers uh, keep doing that cleanup project but that's all I got right now guys sit back enjoy the video let's get her started I don't know why I think that's so cool. So while James is finishing up the combine, that seatbelt thing. One thing about this new truck, that seatbelt alarm does not go away till you buckle. My old one, it would go away after about two minutes, but not this one. Um, so while James is finishing up the combine, I'm gonna run down here to the seat house where we got the other 8250 and um, I'm going to see if I can get it to crank up and move. Dad tried to move it out of the seat house the other day. And uh, he said it would not move at all. So throw in some kind of code about some solenoid. So 
keep fingers crossed but i hope we do not have a rat issue where it's chewed a wire where we can't even get the thing to move so we'll know in a minute So far, so good. We're gonna try to take it out of park, see if we can get it out of here. I guarantee you it's a daggum rat that's chewed a wire that's connected to that hydrostat somewhere. Who knows? Well, I'm gonna do some more looking around the machine, uh, but I'm gonna take a picture of that code, call H&R, AgriPower, and see if maybe they can walk me through, uh, t telling me where that wire is that's connected with that code, and see if I can locate what's going on. That's all I can do. Whenever they chew on a wire, it's usually a wire that's running on the frame or something. It's not. They're usually not hanging off out by itself. Out by itself, hanging off a piece of pipe and chewing that wire. The wire is usually running along the frame where they're walking, where it's easy. Well, let's let's open up the back. Look right here. They don't chew that all the way in too. That's going to your air conditioner compressor. What is that where they chewed the other time? They chewed the other time right down there. Where that duct tape is? Yeah. It looked like they chewed some more, didn't it? Or... I don't think you're going to fit. <laughs> Somebody's got to fit. You want to get out of there? Mm -hmm. You gonna get stuck. Take this coat off. I don't think they've gotten into this. Got a problem. Got a rat problem. What is this, a little lining or something? A seal. Goes up here on top of the throat. You were leaking I, up there? I was leaking beans, especially on that side. Right in here, it was coming out and dribbling down. <laughs> All right. See the gap right here? I don't know, I ought to put some silicone there. What you can do, I've done this before, take grease and put on the iron part, and then you take your silicone and fill it in and it won't stick. And, and it'll make a good gasket. There's that little joker. See that rat? I saw him. I know where he went. Sucker jumped down. He jumped down right here. Hit the ground, took off running. There he is. Joker.
Where's your gun? Did y'all see him? Joker. So Big Joe called me back from H&R uh, AgriPower and that solenoid, the propulsion solenoid is somewhere right up in there. That works your hydrostat, makes it go forward and backwards. Anyway, I looked all up in there best I could and I could not find the wire. But it's got to be somewhere up in there, so they're just going to have to come take a look at it. So we're just going to uh, do all the oil change down here. I got James' hydraulic filters. We got a light for him. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and change out the air filters, but he's just going to have to do it down here. That way we can go ahead and mark it off the list. We had tractor equipment come out and they adjusted the uh, brakes on the dozer. And I think it's working good. Right, we put it back together. And it working? It. Yeah, man, he did great. A little more. Got to come in from the top. There's some kind of bracket. It'd be... Well, that side's doing okay. Yeah. I'm happy with There's it. There's a plate up there. You could probably take a... Uh, probably uh. work at least with a... Uh, yeah. Oh. You don't want to adjust the other side? It's, it's, okay. it's okay. It's doing good. Little thing right right there. My finger's on it. That's yeah, where you adjust it? That, that little thing right there, ain't it? Yeah. Yes, it's got that uh, it's bolt. A, that yeah, bolt. Yeah, it's got a uh, uh, 11 sixteenths and a 5 eighths uh -huh. uh, bolt. Lock that Is it turning good? <laughs> oh, man, yeah. Like a new machine. When we bought it, it was it came from the gravel pit, and they didn't have any shields on it. Oh, and we yeah. put welded this, put this on, and put yeah. that cover there. Oh, you, back up in the woods. Oh, you need you cut. Yeah, if you were doing any, anything in the woods, you need some mm -hmm. coverage. That's ain't no doubt. Mm -hmm. Got those. Shot that brake fluid in there, and drilled it out. I think the bush is still there. Sit that maybe right there. All right, I didn't quite get through greasing the track case, so when we come back over here, we'll have to finish that. But we got to run to the shop, and we got to move some stuff around. Wayne and Mark are through. Uh, what do you call it wire brushing the better so we got to move it out so we can steam clean it wash it up we got to move the combine out of the way because it's in the way of the steam cleaner and uh yeah then i think we can come back over here
That thing is hard right there. Whew. Alright, I think she's good and greased, ready to go, warmed up. So, uh, yeah, start taking out some trees. dad just showed up he's about to jump on the dozier what he's gonna do is he's gonna push these pile of trees right here i just dug up he's gonna push all that to that big pile the big burn pile back there push it all up there the reason we got the tires over here is once he does that he's gonna get behind these push those over there close to the pile and i'm gonna grab them with the track hoe and place them all up on top that way when we set it on fire these will make that whole pile burn to the ground better 
uh, the concrete and the metal, trying to keep all that separate. We're kind of keeping it in a pile right here. Not sure exactly what we're going to do with that yet, but we're piling it up, keeping it separate. Uh, the gates I just took up, we're keeping those separate, kind of piling them over here. And these gates are ones that we made, they're homemade, uh, heavy duty metal. They will last forever. But the plan is for those is we're going to send those to my good friend Russ Wood. He has that JM Wood Auction Company where we bought the track hoe. You can pretty much sell anything at his auction. So that's the plan for the gates. We're going to load them up on the uh, blue freight liner, which is right there. And uh, we're going to haul those to the auction company. And we're going to be sending one other thing over there. We're also going to be sending over our homemade cattle water troughs. We're going to be selling those in the auction too. Heavy duty last forever we got a pile of them right here one two three four five six seven eight i think it's uh one more giant one down there look at this big one down here what this is is uh an old diesel tank that we cut the end of it off and uh made a giant water trough How'd it drive? Driving good. Uh -huh. Driving good. It's just a little soft and muddy. Like, like you were turning on a dime. Yeah, I was just pulling it like normal now. Doing right. Well guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Thanks for watching another one with us here at Triple R Farms. We really appreciate it. If you wanna do me a favor, you click that little thumb, it means you like the video. Uh, we really like it when you do that. And if you wanna to subscribe to our channel, Triple R Farms logo over here, just click that. Other than that guys, we're done with this one. See you on the next one, we're out.